Tibor, I long to eat food. We have Tibor. <laughs> long Tibor, I long to eat. So we have Titi. Correct. And we have a, a proton and density of PD. How do I get the long? How do we get the proton density? Because we have long TR and a short T. Correct. So it's the one long TR. And then we use a short TE with the long TR to produce proton density. And then we use a long TE with the long TR to produce T2. Make sense? Okay. You got it? Let's All right. Find the page. <laughs> That's what we're here for. No question is stupid, guys. Don't be afraid to ask questions if you don't understand it. Long time to have tea too, and we have a long short time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Very good. All right. Where are we? Questions. So the tea two star is always going to happen on every scan. Correct. Okay. As soon as the RF excitation pulse is turned off, three things happen. T2 decay, T1 recovery, and T2 star decay. Always. Those three things will always happen. Remember, what else, what else happens as soon as the RF excitation pulse gets turned off? Dephasing. Don't be afraid to say it. Dephasing. Okay? The spins begin to dephase. It's at, after they start to dephase, because we have to let them dephase, right? Then we turn on the one right the 180 RF rephasing to compensate for that T2 star decay. Because T2 star decay is unwanted. It contributes negatively to the image. It's the, we don't want it, we want to get rid of it. And it's caused by the inhomogeneities in the magnetic field. Okay. Once that, once that RF excitation pulse gets turned off and they start to dephase, remember, in phase means what? All the same. All the same. Everything, direction, um, frequency, speed, everything. As soon as that RF excitation pulse turns off, dephasing begins. What does dephasing mean? Everybody, right. We're gonna, and the inhomogeneities created by the magnetic field, some of the spins, will speed up, some will slow down. Those are the ones that are the T2 star decay. Those are the ones we want to get rid of, okay? Then we then introduce the 180 RF rephasing pulse to compensate for that T2 star decay so it does not contribute negatively to the image. Correct, so yeah, it's basically like artifact or noise. It gets rid of that. So what I want you guys to do for next week, I want you to continue through that this PowerPoint on the gradient, on gradient echo pulsing. Make sure you know spin echo. <laughs> and I want you to continue on the PowerPoint on the gradient echo and continue in the chapter. I think we said it was chapter five, right? Mm -hmm. And continue on in the chapter. And then next week, we're going to concentrate on gradient echo pulsing. OK? Everybody good? Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, I'll see you guys next week.